show you here a couple of words here that you may not have seen before. Go ahead, do you have it? Uh, before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, thus he spake, Come, let us go to see the seer. Seer, seer, seer. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the word ra'ah. Yeah. Ra'ah. That's the seer. That's the seer anointing. That's the seer prophet. That's the one that discerns and have visions. Go ahead. For he is now called a prophet. Stop. That's the Navi. That's the gusher. Yes. That's the one that gushes for. So we see that there is a seer prophetic anointing, mm -hmm. and then there are those that gush. Somebody said, Dr. Connie. <laughs> they just get up, you know, to do one thing and they're just gushing all over the place, you know? <laughs> and prophesying all over the place. Okay, and so at one time they were called the seal of the Ra'ah, where they could have discernment, they could see visions and stuff, and then later on it was called the Navi, one that bubbles and gushes forth as a spokesman from the Lord, okay? And uh, go ahead. Uh, That's it. Yeah, that the last before time one? called a seer. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Now I want you to go to quickly to uh, Second Samuel twenty four eleven. Now this is what's gonna like for you guys away. Okay. Are you guys getting this? Yes. yes. You learning something? Yes. 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 Get edified. All right. Yeah. Second Samuel twenty four eleven. For when David was up in the morning, mm. the word of the Lord came until the prophet Gad. Stop. The word prophet there is not it. The one that gushes, okay? So now David has a prophet that uh, that's, a, uh, that's a court prophet that, that ministers to him and tells him the word of the Lord. That's a gusher, all right? So he is a gusher. He's one that bubbles up and speaks uh, as God. Go ahead. David's seer. Uh, Same. Look, now it calls him a seer. But if you look it up in Hebrew, it is not the ra'ah. Right. It is not the ra'ah. But this is the this is the hosen. That's right. This is the hosen. Yeah. How is that different from the Ra'ah? Mm -hmm. See, the Ra'ah prophet, yes, he sees visions and stuff, you know? And but the Ra'ah, but 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 the but the Hosen, K-H-O-Z-E-H, uh, if you want to uh, look it up in Hebrew, and stuff, is a stargazer. Mm. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. I'll say it again, I don't think something you guys hear. So David had a prophet with him yes. Yes. that read the stars to yes. tell him what to do. Because God was speaking in the stars. And so every time you see seer in the Bible, it is not necessarily talking about someone that is having vision, but it's someone that can look into the stars and can interpret them and have a vision, and they're called stargazers. And that word is used right throughout the scripture. Isaiah, when it calls stargazers, it's the same word. Jose, you know, the same word there. And so I want you to just show me that. So we have the Ra'ah, the seer, and then you have the Navi, the gusher, and then you have the Jose, you have the star. Stargazers are there, and which brings me to this last point. Somebody say, What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Scripture says in Romans chapter verse 11, it says, And that knowing the time, that now it's high time to wake up. It's time to wake up. Tell the person to it's time to wake up. I think Dr. Connie said that last night. You are in the time of awakening. You are in the time of awakening. Even the planet itself is waking up. Yes, scientifically proven with human resonance. And then the planet itself has moved from 8 hertz cycles per second to 16 cycles per second. And so if you are from the earth, that means your brainwave activity and everything is breaking up within you also. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So the world is working now. Okay, do you get what I'm saying? Oh, yes. So it's time to wake up. Oh, now, so ask the person again. So what time is it? What time is it? Okay. It's the age of Aquarius. Now, I want to tell you quickly. <laughs> yeah. Come on, it's bro. the age of Aquarius. See, every, every parable that Jesus gave was speaking about this age here. Every parable. 46 parables to go along with the 46 uh, chromosomes in your body. Yes. 23 from your father, 23 from your mother. Mm. So 23, you have the 46 parables of Jesus. And he started the parables of the kingdom of heaven, that's I'm using the Greek, okay? The kingdom of heaven is likened unto. The kingdom of heaven is. So what's the Greek word for heaven? Uranus. What's the English translation? Uranus. Mm. So you mean Jesus was speaking astrology here? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, the kingdom of Uranus. Why is that important? Because Uranus is the planet of awakening. Yes. Mm. It's called the awakener. Yes. Uranus. And Uranus uh -oh. rules Aquarius. Yes. I think we have two first people sitting on the front row here. <laughs> and so so uh, Uranus rules that. What do you mean 
proves that. The Bible says in uh, Genesis chapter 1 that God created the sun and the moon and the constellations. Yeah. They really like to rule yes. over the day. That's what like to rule over the night and create the constellations also. That word rule means to govern over. Yes. So each zodiac sign yeah. has at least One it, governor. And he gave us a clue that the kingdom of Uranus is likened unto this, where you will see the fulfillment and the manifestations of the parabolic language of Jesus coming to fruition into your time now. Because that's what time is. Because you're in the age of Aquarius. You moved out of the Piscean age, and Yeshua said, I will be with you until the end of the age. And how long was the age? Roughly 2,000 years. Yes. Yes. Oh. That's good. Hey, hold up a shot, my God. So you move into a new age now. So the revelation has to change. Yes. You've got to come higher. Yes. You're being forced to come higher. You're being forced to learn and to exercise the power of the spirit that God is present within you, or you will become a dead religion just like what's happening out there. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Wow. Amen. That's what time it is. Wow. Wow. Chapter 22. Jesus gave the parable. He says, when you go into the city, you're going to meet a man. Yes. And he's carrying a picture. He's carrying his arm. Follow him into that Zodiac house. Mm. Yes. Wow. It's right there in your Bible. Yeah. Yes. That's the word Zodiac, but it's following him into that house. Yes. The Zodiacs are uh, separated into 12 houses. It's yes. called, this is called houses yes. or mansions and stuff. You know? yes. Follow him into that house. And so this man, I mean, he was in the age of Pisces, <laughs> but yeah. he was prophesied in the age hey, of Aquarius. Yes. Hallelujah. So he was prophesied into the age that you're in now where there's the outpouring of the spirit like no one has never seen before. The book of Acts was great, but you haven't seen nothing yet. Amen. The scripture says the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the glory of the former house. No, I don't want to see another book of Acts. I want to go beyond Acts. I want to see the manifestation of the sons of God. And I want to see people and they're doing what you see like on TV. They're showing you in advance on all these Marvel comics and stuff. Right. They're showing you the supermen and women that you are that's becoming activated that's within right. you. 